It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Turkey, Istanbul to be exact, and it's a bottle of Bomondi Fabrica. It's coming in at 4.5% ABV. Uh, unique recipe since 1890. So they've not changed the recipe for a long time. Uh, there's the bottle cap. I've got a, a bottle opener on hand because sometimes these twist off tops can really do your hands in. Oh, it's okay. We're man enough to do it today. <laughs> right. Beer in the glass. So a lot of people in Turkey, if they've heard of any kind of Turkish beer, will almost certainly be Efez Pilsner. Efez Pilsner is the dominant lager beer coming out of Turkey and I apologize to Bomonti for mentioning Efez in this review. I'm sure they they don't want me to talk about it too much, but it it's it's just a beer we see often, even in the UK. Go to a Weatherspoons, they've they've got FS on draft a lot of the time. It's a very popular beer. I'm sure though, this is gonna be pretty decent. Let's let's have a look at it. We got a one to two finger white head, good levels of carbonation clear looking golden colored lager i have just got it out of the fridge hence the mist on the or the condensation on the glass it looks pretty good there's no sediments in there whatsoever let's get the aroma on this straw colored lager Smells okay. Very really crisp, light wafer-like malts coming through. Touch spicy, peppery, lemony. It smells like a premium lager. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Pretty tasty. It's an all malt lager, which I've learned to love. I, I've got to be honest, I've learned to love an all malt lager. I like that crisp, clean flavour, almost kind of Pilsner style beer, this with the bitterness on the back end. Indeed, they haven't talked about. The exact style of lager this is, they've just called it Fabrica, um, crafted in sw a small quarter of Istanbul called Bomonti. So they, it, it's definitely a lager, but they've not, they've not called it an export or a premium lager or a pilsner. Um, but with, I suppose with Efez being a pilsner, and being a very, very popular beer. I imagine that the competition competition in Turkey, because it's, it's I, I go there on holiday to Turkey, it's a beautiful country in the summer, real beautiful country. I imagine that they're not gonna stray too far away from success. They're not gonna go too far in their own direction. They want a slice of that pie. They want a slice of that market. And if Pilsners do well in Turkey, then yeah i'm gonna go with this being i'm not just just guessing market kind of values for the beer and what's selling what's not selling but taste as well there's a nice bitterness there's a nice cl crisp clean taste coming through so yeah my guess is pilsner it's just lemony Touch of sweetness coming through. It's a it's a lovely it's a lovely lager. It's nothing wrong with that at all. I 
I picked this up in a bottle shop uh, in my the, the city over from us. Or the, yeah, I live in a town. The Cardiff is the city. Um, is a is a shop we call locally as the Magic Beer Shop um, because from the outside it looks like a regular go in buy your newspaper, buy your chocolate bar, maybe buy yourself a sandwich or a loaf of bread that type of shop. Um, and then on the on the right hand side of this shop is just a wall or two walls of beer and it's it's almost out of place it's almost like out of completely out of character from the rest of the shop so it's become known as the magic beer shop because you can go in there and you can get beers from i've had beers from sri lanka india turkey i've had beer from all over the world Africa um, and I'm always interested to go I want to try that because it's from a, a far-flung place that and of course I want to try as many different beers as possible we've never strayed too far from the, the roots of the original channel where if you watch my first video I sit there kind of like what we intend to do in my living room over there is review as many beers as possible <laughs> We've not strayed too far away from that. We're still going 10 years later. 5,800 beers going, going strong. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That's all right. 4.5%. I could drink six of these. I could drink six of these. Like the barbecue. Throw a burger on the barbecue. Get the friends over. Beautiful, lovely. Okay, should we rate it, or should we? First of all, before I rate it, let's give the description on the back of the label. And so there's a picture there of the. I'm not sure if they're still there. That's the old brew house in Turkey, in Istanbul. It, it would be nice to think that that was still there. Uh, our story began in 1890 in a small quarter of Istanbul called Bomonti to explore a unique lager taste. Much has changed since 1890 but we continue to make beer in our own way, staying true to the original recipe. With our own special yeast, an easy drinking style that everyone can enjoy. Uh, water, malted barley, hops and yeast. Brilliant, so no corn, no rice. Yeah, a quality all malt lager. I like that. I like that. I'm gonna rate it. I've had far worse from, than this. But I think you can only appreciate a beer like this properly. I mean, again, it's another day of rain on the roof. It's it's just 20, the start of 2020 has just been rain here in the UK. But I can remember times where being boiling hot in Turkey, boiling hot walk into the the next village over just to have a little bit of an explore one day and thinking how hot and thirsty I was and I remember getting hold of an old malt lager um, and I remember just how tasty it was after after walking for miles in the heat and that sticks with me because I think this beer will shine even more where it's supposed to be drunk in a in a, in a fantastic hot country where the sun's beating down on you and you really appreciate it. I like it enough to give it a 7 out of 10. So 7 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! Cheers! Pretty good, all the way down to the bottom. Great head retention, still carbonated. Yeah, decent stuff. If I ever go to Turkey, Istanbul for that matter, I'll be sure to find this and, and, and drink it and search. I mean, even right down to the normally beers are flat as a pancake by the time you get down to the bottom. But look, it's still 
looking pretty decent. Well done, Boo Monty. Cheers.